In this video, I will share you the basic of speed time graphs. In speed time graph, the vertical axis represents the speed of a motion. The horizontal axis represents the time taken. First, we learn to find distance from speed time graph. If you look at this graph, the speed maintains 60 km per hour for 4 hours. We call it as uniform speed. We can use two methods to find the distance. The first method is by using formula. As you know, the formula for distance is speed time time. So according to the graph here, speed is 60 and time is 4. So 60 time Four, equal to 240 km. Method 2, we find the area under the graph. So you can see this is a rectangle. So for area, area for rectangle is best times the height. So 4 times 60 equal to 240 km. Can you find the relationship between the area under the graph and the distance travel? Yes. Area under the graph actually equal to distance traveled. Next example, refer to the speed time graph. The speed of the car keep increasing from 80 km per hour increase to 100 km per hour. So can we use formula distance equal to speed multiply time to find the distance traveled? Of course cannot. So what method we can use? Just now we already learned that distance traveled equal to the area under the graph. So what is area under the graph? Yeah, this is the area under the graph. This area under the graph look like a trapezium. So I take out this shape to here. Okay, what you can see here 80, the height of this one is 100. Distance between two parallel lines is 4. To find the area of the trapezium, we use formula 1 over 2 times the sum of the length of two parallel lines multiply the distance between two parallel lines. So according here, distance equal to 1 over 2, multiply the sum of the length of two parallel lines, 80 plus 100. Multiply distance between two parallel lines, 4. Equal to 1 over 2 times 180, multiply 4 equal to 360 km. Diagram below shows the speed time graph of a particle for a period of 15 seconds. A. Given that the distance traveled at a constant speed is 72 m, find the value of t. So just now you already learned. For speed time graph, the distance we get from area under the graph. So constant speed is here. So it means the area of this rectangle equal to 72 meter. 72 equal to 12 times t. t equal to 72 divided by 12, t equal to 6. B. Find the total distance in meter traveled in the 15 seconds. So if we find the total distance, Total distance equal to total area under the graph. So we have air, we have area A, area B, and area C. Area A already given just now is 72 meter. B and C you need to find it out. Area A 72 plus area B here. 1 over 2 times the length of the parallel line. First is 12 plus 36. Multiply 10 minus 6. Because from here to here, the 
times is 10 minus 6 is 4. Plus, here, area of C, 1 over 2, because this is triangle, so 1 over 2 times the best, 15 minus 10, multiply, height, 36. So equal to 72 plus 96 plus 90. Total is 258 meter. Find the average speed in meter per second for the period of 15 seconds. The formula for average speed is equal to total distance over total time taken. So total distance, just now we already uh, got it. So we fill in here, average speed equal to 258 over total time taken is 15. So average speed equal to 17.20 meter per second. If you like my video, please feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.